Hey yeah, and so we have here what I picked up today. Today's a Saturday, so I um, didn't look many places, just two two local shops. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten new CDs, secondhand CDs. Is that ten? Yeah, yeah, there's ten. Um, so I'll quickly go through to talk a little bit about them because this is a pretty good uh, example of a not great haul, but bits and pieces of things that I want. Um, but yeah, I see. Yeah, it's a good a good rep representation of a pretty typical day of looking in some shops and the kind of things you find. Because not every day out looking can be a winner. You're finding you know things you've been looking for for years. Um, most days are are you just finding you know things that you kind of want or things that you didn't even know you wanted, but you see them and think, oh, you know, I'll pick that up. So um. Two different shops I went to. The first group uh, was a Salvation Army store. So just to explain, I'm sure it's the same in every country, but here we have what we call uh, op shops and a lot of them are run by charities. Salvation Army, Hospice, um, St. John's, um, Red Cross, so on and so forth. Sorry, it wasn't Salvation Army. This one was a hospice store. Okay, so it's a, it's a charity store that supports hospice services for people who are um, near death and they go to a hospice where they're kind of in the last um, the last process before dying and a lot of them don't get a lot of funding from the government so they sell secondhand goods and yeah these cities were 50 cents each so the first one here Cassius 1999 this is a French house uh, I think a duo well no one guy actually it's a it's a French house producer, DJ Cassius, very much in the vein of uh, that kind of um, late 90s, like Daft Punk um, kind of sound, the, the the sound from Homework, which I think came out in 97, 96, uh, as opposed to the more recent Daft Punk stuff. Um, yeah, this isn't bad. I actually already own this, but I lost the case for it so 50 cents thought to pick it up this is a pretty good representation of the of the condition you usually find these things in um a little bit grubby needs a bit of a you know I, i'll usually get these things a wipe with a with a wet tissue or whatever and um still got the price tag on from that was so this is a, a british purchase because it's in pounds hmv 13.99 pound 13 pound 99 um don't know when they bought that but yep I like Cassius, good album. Levy, Lenny Kravitz, Mama Said. I think I already own a best of Lenny Kravitz CD. I don't I own any in a specific um, album, but um, you can see there's some of the things there. I'm I'm not a huge fan of Lenny Kravitz, but he's okay. He's got some, you know, the songs that he has. Um, you hear his singles and things are usually good ish. He hasn't. You don't hear much from him nowadays, do you? Again, a little bit grubby. You know, it just looks like it hasn't been open for, for a good 10 years. Needs a bit of a wipe. But no, certainly um, nothing terrible in that. And there's a little bit of a blemish there that needs to be. It's like dried, I don't know, food or something. <laughs> but um, certainly no scratches. Beavers and Butthead America, uh, Do America movie soundtrack. So movie soundtracks are something that I do collect. I tr 90 1990s soundtracks or but also outside the 90s as well which we'll see in a moment but um i remember this movie when i was a teenager or a kid um what do you got on this isaac hayes chili peppers i remember that video the love roller coaster this animated video ll cool j white zombie rancid ozzy osbourne no doubt but whole surfers Manic Street Peaches, Everything Must Go. I've owned this before, and I still have the CD and not the case. This is what happened to, I'd say, not a, a huge part of my collection, but I don't, I've got a, a big booklet full of CDs that somewhere along the line, probably when I was moving between houses, you know, when you're, when you're young or you're, in your 20s, you're, you're kind of moving from flat to flat. I traveled a lot as well, so, you know, didn't always have somewhere to keep my stuff, and so... 
probably had the bright idea at some point to get rid of some of the cases of my CDs and just keep the CDs, the discs. Now this one, I remember seeing this in the shop when I opened it, it's got some dried, don't know what the hell that is, but it, you can see it would wipe off with, again, with a kind of a, a moist towel, <laughs> a, wet, a wet tissue. The weird thing about this is there was two copies of this album in the, in this, in the same store, which is, often in these stores you do find multiple copies of things but usually it's like here things like Susan Boyle or um, Robbie Williams there are many many copies of those in every store you go to and sometimes you say sing the same album four or five times over but something like the Manic Street Preachers is not you know it's a, it's a rare thing to find one of them let alone two of the same album maybe the same person dropped it off I don't know but I looked at both of them the other one had a cracked case and much more scratched and the CD of that one, this disc also had some gunk on it. So I thought, well, I'll take this one because at least the the, uh, the case is intact. So that's 50 cents. John Carpenter's Vampire soundtrack. John Carpenter is a pretty, uh, pretty good um, movie soundtrack composer. Now this movie was from... If I can see, 98, 1998. I've never seen the movie. Now, what is that? Is that, I think that's vivid. Someone like Marker there. Someone's, for whatever reason. Is that Marker or is that? No, it is Marker. That makes me think. Was it some kind of, um, often I remember when I was a kid, we used to get books, secondhand books on, from a, um, from a factory that had some kind of, um, markings on the uh, not markings like there would be some problem with the book so they, they couldn't sell them and to they would give them away but to make it so they're not resellable they would draw a big black marker through the pages sometimes just like random pages oh, is that what this is um yep not bad chicago the heart of chicago i couldn't remember if i already have this anyway i got it anyway, 50 cents it's it's not, you know, the end of the world if I don't. You can see it's a bit grimy again. These things just look like they haven't been touched for years. And that's why they get kind of grubby. All their most famous songs. Um, I can't see. Chicago. They're the guys who do Saturday in the park, right? Saturday. Um... And it's not on there. I was going to say, the heart of it. Is this, oh, okay, I think this is maybe the love songs of Chicago. Chicago, they've kind of uh, two eras, don't they? There's a, you know, I'm talking to Tennyson to a Chicago video. Uh, Ocean's 12. So this is certainly a more recent um, movie, isn't it? I see, what does it say? Uh, uh, I can't see. I think it was about two in the 2000s, 2010s. Um, you can see there the original price, $25. I got for 50 cents. It is... Uh, no, there's not one particular scorer. Um, but yeah, add that to the... to the... Um, to the collection of... Soundtracks. Now these next three are um, from a different store, from the St. Vincent de Paul charity store. So St. Vin Vincent de Paul are a uh, organization linked to the Catholic Church that helps poor people. Um, in my city, they run an emergency housing uh, unit where people who are, have no access, uh, no access to housing at all um, you can go and stay there. And they also give out food, food banks, food parcels to people who need food. These ones were a dollar. So still uh, not, a, not a huge price. But this is uh, Mariah Carey's number one singles. Not a huge Mariah Carey fan, but, you know, I can, uh, I can appreciate her talent. And she does have some good songs. Vision of Love. I just heard that the other day in the supermarket, and as I was walking around, I thought, yeah, that's a good song. I forgot how much I like that song. Anyway, for a dollar, not bad. Uh, now, this one is taped. I remember in the store, I was trying to look and see. <laughs> well, we talked about, I made a video about this the other day, didn't I, about 
getting the wrong CD in the wrong case. Um, so, will it be Mariah Carey or will it be uh, Reggae Christmas? Yes, there it is, Mariah. And there she is. The booklet is not in there, so it's a little bit kind of uh, edged, but the, the CD looks brand new, looks untouched. Perfect. This one, never heard of it, never seen it, but I um, I thought the cover looks interesting. Blossoming the soul, and I can't even see what that what the that thing there was. It Ali Maze or something. I think this is a um. In fact, it's New Zealand down there. Now, <laughs> when you see New Zealand, it's a it's a two, a double-edged, no, a double-edged sword isn't the right term. Sometimes you want, I, I collect some, you know, New Zealand albums. There are a lot of New Zealand, a lot of New Zealand, New Zealand music I like. There's also some rubbish that comes out of New Zealand. And so when I see that, I think, yeah, what's this going to be? Um, so it'll be interesting to see what that is. It's volume two, whatever it is. So whatever it is, but it was good enough to get to a second volume. Ali Mayu. It looks like a compilation, because that looks like it's the, the song name and the um, artist name. So anyway, a dollar for that. I could risk a dollar. And this is something else that I collect on kind of sight unseen, is 80s and 90s new age music. And a lot of it's like kind of the ocean, the the, the name of, the, the thing that attracted me to this was the, the title, The Sounds of Paradise. It never is. It, it's always pretty much the same. A, a lot of it is rubbish, but there are some that kind of hidden gems. And um, I don't know if you've ever, ever heard of the, the new age band Emerald Web. That's something I found by just randomly buying new age CDs and just listening. And yeah, the kind of thing you would you would have heard. Um, uh, we used to call it dolphin music. I remember when I was a kid. So it's kind of like soothing music and. Uh, Sounds of Paradise and the Endless Big Blue Eyes and Island of Promise Just Follow the Rainbow. More than one hour of nature sounds and Dolby Surround enhanced with relaxing music. So there we go, yeah. You can kind of get guess what that's going to be. All tracks by Levantis. Never heard of him. Now, it doesn't say the year, but most of the stuff, you can tell just usually by the art, the album art, is between about... 87 and 99 and then kind of gets to the early 2000s it kind of changes a little bit i've noticed but i've got i got a bunch of cds like like 50 or so cds in this vein i don't know what i'm gonna do with them it's not the, not the kind of thing you really listen to really it's just i don't know i don't know why i buy them but anyway for a dollar i i think um there's worse things i could spend my money on aren't there Anyway, so that's a haul that I got. That was a total price of, uh, what was it? One, two, three, three, three fifty, four, four fifty, five, five fifty, six, six fifty, six dollars fifty for ten CDs. Not bad for a Saturday. Uh, we're all preparing for a cyclone to hit our, uh, this country in the next day or so. So it was a bit of a weird day. It wasn't very busy at the, at the shop where it usually is on a Saturday. Everyone was at the supermarket trying to get water or filling sandbags. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching.